One of the one of the big questions about AI right now, though, is and this goes to the scaling question is how much data and what it takes to actually continue to scale. How much of this is about just pure processing power and therefore capital, right, um, versus data where you get yeah. that data, this idea of synthetic data, digital data that we're going to recreate data on top of data. What, what does it actually take to scale at this point? When people even talk about some yeah. of the limiting factors, I think that there's some question embedded in that about which piece is going to get there. So the three key inputs, and there are others too, but the three key ones are compute, data, and algorithms. And you can trade them off sometimes. Like if you have much better data, you could use less compute. Or if you have a lot more compute, you could use that to create synthetic data and make more data. Um, for a while, there was incredible easy gains in front of us with compute. More recently, we've had a lot of algorithmic gains. Um, but kind of, you want to push on all of those inputs at the same time. And at different times, there may be differential returns to one or the other. But I kind of think of all three. But compute, for you, compute, I assume, is the biggie. And uh, if you don't have the compute, all the others don't matter. I mean, in some sense, algorithmic progress is the biggie. The biggie, the biggest one. You know, if you can, like, maybe you can double the size of a computer. Maybe over time, with crazy amounts of capital, you can 10x the size of a computer. Once in a while, these 1,000x gains come along algorithmically. Uh, the transformer is like a good recent example of that. That's rare. Um, but that is the biggest gain when it happens. So right now, though, there's, a, there's an arms race, it feels like, for processing power, right? Uh, there's an arms yep. race for fundraising for processing power. There's an arms race to build uh, uh, just and get more compute. You have a relationship with Microsoft. Yeah. And you rely on them right now. I, I think there's a race on all of these things. The compute one is like the most fun, the most theatrical, the biggest numbers. It gets the most attention. It is really important. I don't want to dismiss it. But there's certainly also huge amounts of effort going into who can come up with the best algorithmic ideas, who can secure new data sources. So, so I, I think it is on all three fronts. You do have this relationship with Microsoft. Yeah. It has been described as, a, at, at times, it's been described as a tech bromance uh, in the best way possible. And then I was just reading Alex Heath, who wrote, it's clear that Microsoft and OpenAI are disentangling. I don't think we're disentangling. Look, I will not pretend that there are no misalignments or challenges. Obviously, there are some. But on the whole, I think it's been a tremendously positive thing for both companies and excited to do like much, much more together.